Over the years, there have been concerns about the deteriorating cultural significance of the Saraka event, with many pointing to what was termed a watered-down version of what existed in previous years. Directed by Culture Minister Brenda Hood, the Cultural Foundation is this year assisting to ensure preservation. Chief Executive Officer Shama Well says they are attempting to put a halt on a developing trend. What we find happening is we coming into a big block hole, a liming session. People go out there to eat up the food, all the wonderful Saka food, and just lime about and have a good time. We want to change that. We want to ensure that people understand what this celebration is all about. And in so doing, we have now engaging with the River Sally Committee to ensure that they have the Tilingo dancing, the feeding of people on the banana leaves, mainly children, uh, a bit of the nation dancing as well and drumming and so on. Uh, so we also look at things like crowd control as well. We're working with the Royal Grenada Police Force. There's going to be a routing into the area and out of the area, parking and you know that sort of thing to avoid that congestion because the River Sally Saraka is so huge now. It's unbelievable the amount of people that attend that, that celebration. So we engage with the committee out there and we're planning to do all of that in the pasture. Mrs. Wells says one aspect that will be addressed is that of music, although it is not their intention to dictate what is played on the outer parts to where the event will be held. Um, you know, we have to take into, term, into con consideration that culture is, is, is a living thing. Yeah, it's, it, it, it keeps growing, it keeps evolving, it keeps bringing in different generations and different, different uh, groupings of people. And to say to ban it is bad, but certainly we can control it. For example, the areas that we're going to have these activities taking place, we certainly can... Um, ensure that there is no DJ music playing at the time that is being done. That certainly will control. The Cultural Foundation is encouraging persons to attend the event, which this year will see the return of big drums under the moonlight and traditional partaking of meals on fig leaf by the children. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.